lame deer. Few details are known at this time. Highway 39 is closed from the roundabout on that road to the town of lame deer, Rosebud Ashland and Forsyth County. Firefighters are all helping combat the blaze. This is a developing story. Check back for updates on KTVQ.com. Well, we, re we revisit a story we've been following about a local man falling 40 feet off the Billings rims a little over a week ago. We reported this man chasing after his dog. That man was Tom Paxinos, a local realtor, member of Projectile Comedy, and a star of the recent Blood Hunter film. He was even uh, one of Q2's volunteers for St. Jude Telethon. Now the community has come together to give back to him during this hard time. Q2's Jenny Fick tells the story. Our good friend Tom took a little tumble last week, 40 feet, um, and has a traumatic brain injury. Zeus is the boy that Tom went over the cliffs to follow here. Tom is still in the hospital, taking it day by day. No news is good news at this point, so we just really want him to stay peacefully resting like he is, and he's so comfortable right now, so we're just going to let him wake up in his own due time. So even if Tom checks out of the hospital today with a clean bill of health, that's when a long road of, to recovery will happen. And so, you know, there's a lot of unknowns. He's so loved and uh, has such a community of people that we've come together to do what we can to help him while he heals. And it seems that everyone wants to help. The number of people that he has touched through his different jobs and involvements in the community. People feel ownership of him, like he's, he's our Tom. Everybody feels like he's their Tom because he's just one of those people that is so engaged with everybody he meets and he makes them feel so special. The community being coined as Tom's Village has rallied around him with comedy shows, benefits, and raffles popping up left and right. He'd be doing the best for us, so we're obviously doing the best for him. So all these donations and everything will cover the unknowns and the uncertainties of what's going to happen. Even those who have never met him, stepping up to offer what they can. He fills the room. His energy and his light fills the room when he comes in. You fall in love with him on sight. Being a part of projectile comedy, laughter is a huge part of Tom's life. He would be so mad at us if he thought we were sitting around crying, not doing anything. He would be so mad. You know, we make okay. inappropriate jokes <laughs> and it, none of it is going to be <laughs> highbrow comedy by any means. Chaz Llewellyn said it best. He said, I want him to wake up and when he sees everything that has happened and the photos and the comedy and all of it, he'll say, nice. In the meantime, his village has got his back. Get ready for a party. Century 21, he's built a name for himself. He's got a great base of clients that trust him. My son and his fiance actually bought a house with Tom's help. They developed such a bond during the process that my kids have actually asked him to be their officiant at their wedding this summer. And we're bound and determined to make sure that he makes that happen. My kids won't have it any other way. So that just says, that speaks to the fact that you fall in love with Tom the first time you meet him and there's no getting out of it. He's in your life forever. In Billings, Jenny Fink, MTN News. For a full list of opportunities to help or for dates of fundraisers, visit KTVQ.com. Venmo donations are being collected for out-of-state friends and family. There's also a Facebook page, Thinking of Tom, where regular updates on his status are posted. A shooting early Saturday morning left one man dead and the suspect still at large. A shooting happened a little before 2 a.m. Saturday in South Billings. The shooting taking place at Lee's Saloon at 530 South 27th Street. Billings police say a 24-year-old man died after being taken to the hospital. Another 28-year-old man was also taken in for injuries. Another 24-year-old man had injuries but was not treated at the hospital. There are still no suspects in custody at this time. Investigators are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers at 406-657-8200. And this call can remain anonymous. A fun time for kids and of all ages this afternoon on the final day of the 68th annual Albadou Shrine Circus. The band rocking some of the entertainment between shows and the clowns welcome the shrine potent in of president into the clown club and the big Bengal tigers started the show. The circus helps the Shriners pay for the building which helps with the top philanthropy the Shriners Children's Hospital and even if it is a fundraising a fundraiser it's still all about everyone having fun. Oh we're having a blast we're at our final show everything's relaxed we have a little fun 
We poke people. The thing about this is so, so unique is that you're so close to the animals. There's not a Shriner out here that doesn't want to see a kid smile. It is absolutely amazing seeing the people come in and out of here, having people walk, walk out and say how great a time they had, that how great the show was. Uh, they'll be back next year and thanking us. That makes it all worthwhile. Well, looks like a good time. More to come on the 530 News or bring you this week's outdoor report. We visit with some biologists that spent some time plotting in the back country and later in sports. You probably wouldn't notice anything different about this Montana baseball star, but he's playing with a big handicap and still excelling. But first, let's check in with our friend Bob over in the Weather Center. Thanks, Zoe. Coming up in weather, we're going to be talking about a new spring storm coming your way. One that could actually bring several inches of snow to Billings. How much? We'll let you know in a few more minutes. You're watching MTN News with Zoe Zandora. Storm Trucker Weather with Rob Griggs. And Sports with Casey Conlon. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.